Hey everyone, I'm LC Gamer, and welcome back to Whispering Willows. I have no idea where I need to go. No, I can't go that way. Uh, you can run out doors by holding L1 or R1. Oh. Fountain. What a neat old fountain. I'm surprised it still works. Ooh. Can't open it. Sky flower. Did you see the white men? I'm picking flowers for them. Flying Hawk says we should be peaceful. Well, I'm sure you should be. The wood is m warm. Rusty iron rings hold it together. An old wooden bucket. Okay. John Elkhorn. Hmm. I've been hired as groundskeeper of the Willows Mansion here in town. It's not my ideal work situation, but at least it's income for now. It should just be temporary for me anyway. But I can't stay unemployed with a family to provide for. I have to make sure I'll be able to send Elena to a good school and buy her the things she needs. I was actually really lucky to come across this opportunity. The old groundskeeper suddenly decided he'd had enough of the place. For 30-some years of watching it over it, he quit on the spot. It was an immediate higher position. I don't have much experience with this kind of thing, aside from landscaping when I was 17 years old or so, but they needed someone and it would appear as though I'm that someone. Oh my. Okay, uh... What do we have over here? Uh, another note. Page 7! I will leave that for later, then. Uh... Conservatory. Hello? Oh, uh... I need... no. No. Thank you. Petty Officer Holmes. I tried to take my girl into the Old Willows Conservatory, but didn't have anything to cut the vines with. Oh. So I can't get in there anyway. Okay. Wait. Uh, go to front of mansion. To enter observatory. Huh. So what do we have in this direction then? Hmm. A door? Guest house. Okay. Coat rack? I don't hang dad's jacket up here. Mm -mm. I won't hang dad's jacket. Okay. Go through the door. Hello? Hey there, little lady. Let me play a tune that's as pretty as you. Um, huh? No, that's not it. Hmm. I can't... I must apologize, little lady. I can't remember how it goes, and I don't have my sheet music either. If you can find my sheet music, I'd love to play you a song. Cool. Notes. Flying Hawk 
three of five. Mm. Okay, that hurts. What? Well, what was that noise? Sound like footsteps. Ooh. All right. There it is again. It has been many a year since the great bald eagle first visited me. Its visit is always a sign. I must take great care to decipher the meaning of my vision. The pit in my stomach warns me of what could be if I do not. I flew once more with the great bald eagle, but this time he did not show me what was or what will be. No, he instead showed me what already is. We traveled east across the land to where the white men live in their busy cities with their busy lives. They are removed from the great spirit's presence, ruled by a different god, one that manifests their destin destinies. I could see the spread of these people like a sickness within the body. They grow and expand. I saw trials before them that Bla trails before them that blazed with fire and gold and glimmered in the men's eyes and they were entranced by it. It is their fortunes they saw within the fires that these white men desire. Riches these men shall seek, but only turmoil and death they shall find. I awoke violently from my trance, my blanket drenched in sweat. We must already, we must ready ourselves for their coming. We must be the cure for their sick spirits. If not us, then whom? The duty falls to my people, for we are those who have been shown the way. We must protect our way of life, not through violence, but through a communion with nature and with one another. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's check all the bottom floors. The bottom of the floor first. Uh, what do we have over here? Stove. What a crazy looking stove. It's an old classic stove. Hello? So many. So many slaughtered. All those natives and their blood on our hands will be damned, damned I say, our souls damned to hell. Okay, calm down there. Mom would throw a fit if our nice china looked like that. Okay, so I can only run outside. Ooh. I'll take this. Flying hawk. Four or five. At last, they come. It was foretold to me years ago, but the visions are still fresh within my mind. We have heard from tribes we trade with that the white man is on his way. Their, ex their expeditions into the west have come and gone, and they have found it a place worthwhile. The others, the other tribes, bring news of the east. What we have heard does not bode well but it aligns with what the great bald eagle showed me. We have heard tell what the white man is violent, that he kills indiscriminately for gain and for pleasure, heedless of his god's laws. We must now do more than ever to show the white men that we can live together in peace. We are all creatures of this earth, and we shall, in that common bond. We all share in that common bond. We shall accept them as the brothers to us that they are. And I have a feeling that goes very poorly. Okay, so if I go back this way, there's a door I passed up earlier. Is it locked? No. Cool. Uh, 
Uh, I think I'd get Ugh. dirtier in here. I want the note. Alright. Wortham Willows. Wortham's War, huh? All my prayer, all my devotion did nothing to save Martha. I do not even have the resources to build a proper casket for her. God has truly forsaken us both. I couldn't just leave her there on the desolate plains for the rats and maggots to have at her. No, I shall protect her even now, even in death. We were to carve a home together out of the wilds of the west. She will come with us, and she'll not be entered into until... I, okay, I lost my place. Be entered until I found a suitable place for her. If any man dares object to my decision to bring Martha with us, no matter his reasons, I shall in that very instant shoot him dead. Okay. That's a little heavy, bud, but... Oh, wait, I can check the piano. I wish I could hear someone play this. And up we go. Wait. Oh. Cool. No, no, no. I need that open. Probably. The door is stuck. Door is stuck. Alright. Can I go outside? No. Oh. Isn't this quaint? Let's see. What else do we have up here? Aha! Uh -huh. Let's place that there. Open the window. Huh. Oh, no, that's cool. Open the window. Bed. Window. Uh. It's so creepy. I keep expecting it to move. You and me both. Door's locked. Luggage. Huh? No wheels or anything. Flying Hawk. Five of five. A group of young braves spied a party of white men coming from the east. We do not yet know anything about them. It is my hope that we that they will be of no danger to us. However, we must ready ourselves for action if need be. All the while presenting open arms to those new friends. We have prepared food so that our visitors may share in our bounty, and we wish to welcome them. Some of the women and children have prepared themselves to flee if these men turn violent. Something I asked of them to do. I hate to think it, but we will need people to continue our line. Among these women and children are my daughters, granddaughters, and grandsons. If I cannot save myself, I can at least save them. But I have no doubt these white men will regard us well. As So long as we show ourselves to be welcoming and civilized, they will see us as their own. That is possible. Locked Curious. Come on. Minora Freeman. 
Ooh. You are not well. I'm the one that they make get water from the well. The only one. So I left the bucket back in the garden. When they came, when they can't find me, what'll they do? Go thirsty? That's right. Oh my. What, what is this place? I do not know and I don't want to know. Okay. This place is creeping me out. Uh. Toilet. This doesn't look comfortable. On the right path. Now that just leads me back around here. So let's go down. Where does this lead? Up, over, down, and around. Nope, that's a dead end. What here? Let's fix that. Wait a second. Did that creepy picture just change its look? Mm, okay, music. Enough with that. Oh. Yes, yes it does. <sighs> sheet music. Hey, a page of sheet music. I wonder... What? You wonder what? Well, let's go back to the, the piano man. Uh... This is creepy. Creepy, I say. Okay. Oh, I'm uneasy. Piano man? Do you mind? Oh, thank you, Elena. Thank you. I've been so lost without the gift of my music in my life. Now, I shall play for you the song I promised. Why, thank you. Okay. Now where am I? I sense a great amount of death and decay nearby. We must be getting close. You say so. You must dig, Elena, and uncover what lies beneath. Dig? Mm. Need something mm. to dig with. Need a shovel. Where can I find a shovel? Shovel, shovel. I doubt there's a shovel here. Okay. Mansion. Let's 
see. Is there happen to be a shovel around here? Uh, poor Rue. Hmm. I'll read that later. No, I'm not gonna open that. Hello? Whoa, there's two of you. Oh my, it's been quite chilly as of late. Please take my coat. A lady such as yourself shouldn't go cold. Why, such a gentleman. I thank you kindly, sir. Oh, I assure you, miss, the pleasure is all mine. Okay. Uh, bucket. Hmm. Uh, Flying Hawk thinks his body's somewhere in the guest house. I better check around there. Yeah, sure, but... I'm going to wander around and find a shovel first. Observatory. Okay, so if I go this way... Can I find a shed? Maybe there's tools there. No, no. Leave me be. Okay. Shovel, shovel. Oh, tool shed. John Elkhorn. I... I'd heard stories of this place when I was growing up from my grandparents, and we learned about its history in school, but I never knew who to believe. The stories from my family told a dark history of brutal genocide and inhuman enslavement of our people. The Quantaco natives... I keep... I know I'm mispronouncing that, so I apologize. The history I learned in school was quite different. Wortham Willows, the, the forebearer of this place, was depicted as an independently wealthy tycoon around whose endeavors the town sprouted. The thing is, I can see evidence for both sides of the argument. That evidence is strewn about these grounds. Shovel. Okay, I got the shovel. Buckets in place. Ah, uh, that's good. Okay, that... that popped for some reason. Going down... Yes, yes. I know. You must dig, Elena. Dig. Oh, no, this, this isn't right. We've unearthed these anguished souls of the dead. Elena, go. Get out now. Oh, I'm... I'm trying. Oh... I'm sinking. I'm sinking. I'm running. I am baffled by the, this, Elena. I was sure my body would be found here. I remember falling, falling down into darkness, a pit of despair. Please, Elena, we must contain, continue the search. Yeah, let's not go back down there. Okay. Um. Have I completely looked through this entire place? I think I have. I'm leaving. Oh. Grasping at straws. There's so much in this place I don't understand. Why is there such a feeling of darkness here? And why would someone want to take my dad? 
Flying Hawk doesn't know enough to give me solid facts, either. I have so many unanswered questions, it makes me want to cry. My energy feels so sapped from everything I've seen, but it doesn't matter. I have to keep searching, no matter what. And I'm going to leave it here for now, and we'll continue the search in the next video. So until then, see you guys.